One of the more misunderstood techniques in Xenotech is creating columns. It is quite easy to do once you understand how to do it. Let's say that we have a customer who wants a coach's plaque that has the children's names at the bottom and then they want a heading at the top. As you can see in the diagram on the screen, this is the, how our finished setup is going to look. First of all, I'm just going to press the F6 button to delete everything here. First, let's create a job that is 6 inches tall by 8 inches wide. Next, go to text, then make columns. Before I start any of the values in the dialog boxes, let's go to setup. I'm going to work with inches. My row spacing will be set by baseline. My first line will be measured by the top of the line. And I'll enter my text by columns as opposed to rows. And the justification of my columns will be left on the first on the left column, center on the center column, and right justification on the right column. So let's enter three in for number of columns, three for rows. My letter height is 0 0.150. My column width is one. My space between columns will just make it zero. The top of line is three and a half, and the baseline of the last row is five. This means that my three rows will appear between the three and a half inches and the five inches. Set your left margin and your right margins for one. I already have the text already entered in the dialog box. Typically, if you're doing this from scratch, you would have no text here. So just enter the enter in nine names, and then we will then create the nine names and enter them into our column layout. Next, press OK, and you'll see our text on the screen. Once the text has been laid out, now all we need to do is put in whatever we want as far as the top items go. So let's drop a logo on the top left there. Let's make it none for justification. Let's grab a logo. Let's say it's a baseball orientated plaque. So let's go open out of the box. There's my bat. <coughs> let's say that we want to have some text in here. I have my text. Let's wear my text out a little bit. Let's select both of them here. I'll make my letter height 0.35. And I'll make it a bit smaller than that, 0.32. If you want, we can space this out. And there you have it, a finished column layout.